Well, the new year is here. Time to set some goals and where better to do it than in Notion. I'm going to dive right into this template, which is just focused on two things. Help you create goals and stick to some practices that you've set to help you reach them. Let's take a look. So before we dive into the actual goal setting part, there's a section which is going to let you reflect on 2022. So it's just going to give you a couple of prompts, things like highlighting your biggest achievement in a sentence, thinking about some of the things that went well, maybe some of the things that were distractions that didn't work out so well. So this is just a nice way to kind of set you up for your goal setting efforts. While you're thinking about goals for 2023, it can be helpful to just take a moment to reflect on what worked and uh, perhaps the progress you already made in 2022. So take a minute to, to fill out your 2022 takeaways and then we can head into the first section, which is going to be goal setting. So at the top, you'll see there's kind of, uh, there's a couple of markers which are gonna help us also serve as our color scheme for goals and milestones. So you're gonna see that this table here is set to be grouped by a few areas. So you'll see there's a business area, finances, health, you can add your own specific groups by either going down here and adding a group or it's actually working on this area tag. So if I just add a new area, so let's say that I wanted to have an area for something like, I don't know, entertainment. I don't know why that would be a goal area, but you could add a new tag, which is going to also create a new section of this table. So I'm going to click this one back into being a group and then the things that are important to note about this goals table is following the SMART methodology. So you have a specific target, which for this case, we're going to talk about this goal, which is about increasing website traffic. So let's say that by the end of the year, I wanted to increase our landmark website traffic to 50,000. So 50,000 monthly visitors. I could probably be specific about the metric. So we could say monthly. And I'm going to give it a very specific target, 50,000. I can also give it an achievability. So that's going to be uh, useful for when we're setting our milestones and also just to kind of get a sense of how achievable our portfolio of goals are. So we might want to have some that are a little bit more risky or ambitious. And those we might set as, you know, maybe it's very unlikely, but that doesn't matter. We're also going to have a couple of goals that are very likely small wins. So we can set an achievability. We can also set the area of life that we want this goal to apply to, and we can give it a time bound or a due date. This one is going to be for the end of the year. So you notice there's a couple of milestones here. We're using Notion's latest feature, which is sub items to create some milestones within our larger goal. So our green high level goals are going to be the things that we're working towards. And then we also have some milestones along the way, which are going to be indicated in purple. So you should be able to quickly, at a glance, be able to see which is a goal and which is a milestone based on that color scheme. And again, sticking with this example of our 50,000 website visitors per month goal, you can see that I might want to create some milestones along the way. So 10,000 would be a target. Maybe I can set a sooner deadline for that. I can also add a new sub item here. Let's say we wanted to add one for 30,000. I can repeat that in the target section that's going to help us roll up the progress bar for our goals progress. And maybe this one is going to be, you know, slightly less likely than 20,000. And I can also give it a due date for later on in the year. So you should be able to see that we can set milestones for our goals that are marking progress along the way. And if we want to indicate it uh, as a milestone visually, I would recommend when you create a sub item within a goal, just hit this open, you'll have a blank page automatically and you can just hit to set this as a milestone which will give us that icon if you're creating a new goal you can do a similar thing here so make sure you click up to the highest level create new under the goal so let's say we want to have a new goal for i don't know some kind of revenue goal same thing set a target achievability and a date and then if you want to create some milestones within it you can create these as sub items for the goal itself, I'm going to just click in and I'm going to set it as a goal. We get that green icon so I can clearly see which is a goal and which is a milestone. So that's how you can quick, quickly create goals and group them based on the areas of life that you're working on. And then now we can kind of quickly look into the next section, which is practices. 
So practices are designed to be recurring activities that we want to do more of throughout the year. So they should be related to our goals, but they're not specific projects. They're not one and done tasks. They're things that we want to kind of set as a new habit, uh, establish as a new practice for this upcoming year. So as an example of that, we can continue with our website traffic goal. So we said we wanted to increase website visitors. One practice that we might want to establish for this is to publish regularly. So we could create a project, which is, you know, uh, publish 100 posts or something like that. Or we could create a practice in this database and we could set it as a recurring uh, item in this database so that it shows up on a specific schedule. So in the template, you'll see there are a couple of examples already set. If I click into this uh, database template menu, you'll notice we have this recurring uh, item next to it. And this is where we can set the schedule for our particular practice. So let's stick with this publishing practice. I want to practice how often, let's say I want to publish twice a week. So I could choose even the days that I want this item to pop up. And that means every Tuesday and every Thursday of the week throughout the whole year, this, a new item in this publish uh, subcategory is going to pop up and show up. So this, I created this today. So this is going to be created today, but let's imagine we fast forward to a couple of uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays have passed. So we would get another item called publish and we would get another one called publish and they would have different created times. These are all today, but they will be Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday. And you'll see that this completed bar is going to update as I mark them complete. So these sub items I've just titled as sessions and sessions belong to practices. So this practice is publishing blog posts. As I check off various sessions within that, this completed progress bar is going to update and give me kind of a status of how, how well I'm tracking on this particular practice. The same goes for any other practices that you create. So if I have a practice of meditating, I can set the schedule for this particular template here. I can do it every week. I can do it every day, except for the weekends. And that's going to dictate how often this task will be uh, creating a new sub item, which I can then mark as done as it pops up. So you can get a bit of a quick tutorial for how to create these recurring templates and practices for yourself using this click through scribe here. And then once you're done, once you get the hang of it, you can also just delete this area here. Okay. So we have goals and we have practices. Now let's take a look at some of the ways that we can view our progress towards these various things. So for example, we have this month by month view for our practices. So you can see there's a little indicator here for one second. This is cut out. So you can see there's a, an indicator for your progress. And this is for the monthly. This is a monthly view of your progress on practices. So we have a couple of items here. December 22, I just included so you could see uh, what it's supposed to look like. Uh, but you can see it again at the top. You can see the percentage of items that have been marked as done. And you'll be able to get a month by month view of your various practices. Um, and these will fill up according to the recurring schedule that you set for yourself. So you have all the months of our 2023 practices and you can get a month by month view of your progress. So that's the monthly view of our practices progress. You'll also get a progress view on your goals and these can be filled manually. So as I'm talking about increasing site traffic, I can check in with this perhaps at the end of each month. Let's say the current value at the end of the month was something like 9,000. We're making progress towards this goal. We'll see the progress bar increase. Milestones will also be something that we can uh, update manually inside of these objects. So this is just a way to help us kind of visualize and break down our progress on these more manual set goals. Otherwise we have our month by month view for practices. And that's it. That's all there is to this simple little new year's planner. You have a space to set your goals, to create some milestones within those goals, and then to establish some practices and a schedule for those practices. You can then track the progress in a monthly view or in a kind of overview of your goals progress. 
And you also have a section to reflect on your 2022 takeaways. So if you want to use the template yourself, check out the link in the description and you can duplicate it into your workspace and start setting some goals for 2023. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.